Hello everyone and happy, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having the best Sunday ever. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I'm basically your new messy best friend, okay? So my channel is all about feeling like you're FaceTiming with the best friend and I'm giving you all the tea when it's hot because you know what you guys there's nothing like hot tea now i know there's good iced tea but girl iced tea is just to drink bitch okay so make sure you hit that subscribe button you do not want to miss out i'm on my way to 19k so if you want to help a bitch out please do let's be cheetah girls okay listen you guys <clears throat> we actually have a <clears throat> girl oh cheetah girls Cheetah, you wish you could, okay? Um, we haven't actually talked about Gabby Hanna for a minute. I mean, we've mentioned her here and there, but she's really calmed down a lot, um, which has been very refreshing because, bitch, I was starting to say the name Gabby Hanna more than I was saying my own name, bitch. And I was like, damn, girl, take a breather. Drink a chamomile, bitch. Calm down, right? Well, um, she tweeted out um, nine hours ago, she tweeted out saying, eat, pray, delete your social media. So this is what everybody for a while has been kind of asking, girl, what do I have on my lip? Kind of asking Gabby Hanna to do. Girl, delete your social media, take a breather, sit down, call a friend, eat an Italian sub, watch the Princess Diaries, just do anything else but videos, right? I was about to call AT&T to get her fucking Wi-Fi cut off, right, bitch? So, I don't know if she's contemplating quitting social media, but a few people really do believe she is. And let's, for example, say what would benefit Gabby Han if she deleted her social media? Well, listen, it would benefit her mental health, right? It would benefit her public appear uh, opinion about her obviously it will hurt her finances right and that's like the one thing that i'm pretty sure a lot of people obviously think about is their finances is shit what am i gonna do you know if i no longer have this income like they can't you know they can't just like relax and you know like not do any you know any content you know plus she really loves to create she loves to create music she loves to create you know art all these things so when you take that away and you delete your social media it's like well then you're not you don't have a public right so i came up with like an idea like if she would delete her social media you know she loves to write music so if she's really leaving social media because she thinks that it's toxic for her or that she becomes toxic in you know, on social media, whatever the reason she wants to leave social media, if she does, in fact, delete her social media and, you know, she loves to write, she loves to draw, well, maybe she can do it like anonymously, you know what I mean? Or maybe she can write music for others or, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do. I think what's important, though, is that she gets some kind of help in, you know, her mental health. And because I know a lot of people don't like her, a lot of people, you know, don't want her to be okay. But I don't agree with her and I'm not a fan of hers, but I wish her well enough for her to get the help to realize what she's done. Because that's the thing, you guys, that a lot of people are kind of like confused. Like, I understand that if we mess up, we should take accountability, but... She, I believe, has not been ready to take accountability. She has not been ready to admit that some certain things are her fault. And she hasn't been ready to admit these things because she is still blaming everybody else. So until she does, well, then that's when she can really say, oh, okay, you know what? I've learned. Or, oh, you know what? I, I get it, right? So let's see what some people are saying about her potentially leaving social media. Um, let me just go to Twitter real quick. Okay, so... Um, don't delete, um, uh, do what makes you happiest, but I really hope you don't delete your socials, uh, great advice, um, eat, manifest, delete your social media, release a new song, um, please don't, uh, 
please don't leave, um, don't delete. Uh, you know, a lot of obviously her fans are like, you know, not wanting her to delete. But I do think that when you love somebody and you're a fan of them, you want them to be well. And I think that the best way for them to be well is if deleting her social media is the right thing to do and just taking some time off. And I'm sure she has money to survive a year, you know, maybe honestly take a year off. Like the thing is, you guys, when you're when you're an influencer or a YouTuber and stuff, you need to constantly be, you know, doing content and releasing things and being on top of it because you are very easily forgot forgotten on social media. You know, if you don't post for a couple of days, people move on to the next person, right? Um, so I don't know. It's like one of those things where it's like, okay, what can she really, really benefit from deleting her socials? And what will she, you know, have to change in her life to delete her socials? Because, you know, these people depend obviously on their money. Sponsorships, which she says she's not getting any because of Trisha. Uh, you know, views and AdSense and all these things. So I don't know, you guys. I don't think she makes enough money on her music alone to support her, you know, lifestyle. So I definitely think she still has to make videos. But I think at some point she is going to get tired of what she's been doing. So I don't know if, if that is what's going to finally benefit her and that is what's going to finally let her sort of find inner peace. Then I say, honey... Delete your damn social media, bitch. Go download Disney Plus and go watch all of like American, per, uh, no, uh, 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 Princess Diaries. You can do so much things with your free time, bitch. But just, you know, don't, you know, social media is a hard place. You know, you guys like, I obviously I'm not in, in her platform. Um, but as of lately, I've been receiving like, you know, as my channel keeps growing, thank you, God. Um, you know, obviously, it invites more people in that don't really know you, that judge you from the first three minutes of a video. And I've been getting a lot of that uh, lately. I mean, I've been getting so much love thanks to you guys. But the hate is starting to kind of stand out when it before it didn't. Um, and I tend to never really respond. I do read them. Um, and sometimes they're just so mean that I actually delete them because I know a lot of you guys love to defend me in the comments. And then it just turns into like a war that I just don't want to have in my community. I want everyone to respect one another, have different of opinions, but respect the opinions. Um, but lately, I like today I read one so horrible that I was just like, oh my God, like how are you you know, sometimes even threatening. So it, social, so imagine on my small platform and then, you know, a big platform, even when it's your fault, right? Because Gabby has brought a lot of this on herself. So she's not saying Gabby here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is difficult, you know, it is difficult and it is a very big pressure. Um, but it's one of those things where it's like, I think that as long as you're being you and you're, 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 you know that you're working with light and with a good heart, then you shouldn't have a problem. And if somebody fuck, you know, wants to write a comment, of course it's hurtful because you're only human, you know? Like I was telling my husband, I'm like, some of these comments, they're really, really hurtful, you know? They, 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 they just really go there. And, you know, he says, you know, Sebastian, this is what, this is sort of like the price for putting yourself out there. And, and I mean, if that's the price, it is what it is. I'm like over it. But, you know, I understand why anyone would want to at that platform, you know. But I think, Gabby, don't delete your social media because you, you're the victim. Delete your social media because you want to get better. Because you want to learn why so many people are against you. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that little tea and that little insight on my life. I know you guys sometimes really love to know what's going on. Right now, I am, you know... It's just like a weird thing, but I'm more than anything. I'm so grateful to have you guys to, to know that you guys have my back and and I have yours and I love you and I'm proud of you and I respect you and I'm very grateful that we're taking this journey together. So I hope you guys have a fabulous Sunday. I'm going to make some more videos for you guys, but I love you guys. And um, remember, even if you don't like somebody, send them well wishes. You know why? Because whatever you put out in the universe returns to you. So if you put out good, you receive good. And if you put out bad, 
you receive bad. Even though you hate someone, even though they're horrible people, I wish Gabby Hanna well. You know why? Because that is exactly what I'm going to be receiving. So whatever you put out, you receive. I love you guys so much and I'm very grateful for you. Mwah.